EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the cliffs at Lighthouse Point, opening round coverage of the main classic. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. We've got a tie at the top at two under par. Playoffs in Memphis. Yeah, apart from that uh, trip across the pond, yeah, we're going to be stateside the rest of the season. And, and, and it's weird. I know a season looks long on paper, but, you know, the weeks just fly by. And the, the quality of golf we've seen this year has just been absolutely spectacular. And I think, we'll, we, I think we're going to finish strong. I really do. I think there might be something special, you know, maybe some sub-60s to close the year. But I'm really looking forward to those playoffs. Hmm, manages to get out of the bucket, but still has some trouble here. Can't put away that toolbox just yet. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he'll stay at level par. Second shot now here at the par three. Whizzes past the hole. A difficult putt coming now. Good chunk of real estate here, 22 feet away. Yeah, he wanted that to go a little more, but that's not too bad from there. Yeah, that's a good putt, though it is for bogey here at the second. And he'll drop back to one over par. And that's going to wind up in the bunker off the tee. So this opening round not progressing as planned here in the early going. Ah, oh, that second shot took some force on this par five just to get it into the greenside bunker. Now well positioned, especially with a little savvy bunker shot. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with Birdie still in play. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at Birdie. From my vantage point, I don't see a whole lot of birds. He should have a good run at this one. That one a little straighter than the first two drives of the round. This is going to be safely in the fairway here at four. While sitting on an upslope here, you've got to be careful that you don't get this one straight up in the air from that line. Oh dear, that looks thick in there.
That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. This course really demands every shot in the bag. That's a great little short shot. It's going to be needed today. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And he's going to fall back now to one over par. I don't think that ball is going to wind up being playable. That area is considered out of bounds. So that not what he was looking for, especially when that was for bogey. And his touch has just uh, been all over the place on this hole. More evidence there. That one just going to sneak on by. Didn't go your way. It happens in golf. So just pick up and move on. Still work to do to get this on the green. This is second. Okay, on the green, but let's gonna leave a putt that will get your attention. Good job to deaden it right by the hole, but he could not get it to go in. That one safely in for a bogey. And he'll fall back now to five over par. Long drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. Here at seven, this is second from off the fairway. Well, I know I'm paid to talk, but there's not really much to say about that. Best to just move on to the next shot. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. 
So that not his best, and this part of his game has been disappointing to say the least today. It certainly has, and sometimes you just get too much going on upstairs. You know what I'm talking about. So you don't focus on what you need to do. No, that at least was a good putt that could have very well gone in, but he misses by less than a foot. Okay, a disappointing six here at the par four. And he'll slide a bit further here to seven over par. dives right into the thick stuff. That could be problematic to say the least. Now from the apron, a second to the par three. Looking to splash this softly onto the green. Okay, not a bad recovery from out of the sand and a chance, maybe, to limit the damage to one drop shot. Ah, good stuff, though it is for a bogey four. And that's gonna drop him all the way down to eight over par. The beauty of this par five, so many different ways to play it. Maybe a little wayward, even with the tee shot or the second shot. But really, it's going to be about the third shot today. How close can you hit it? Well, at least he can draw on the experience from the previous hole. Again, in the bunker. Boy, that was on an aggressive line. Couldn't quite get it to stop, and that will be left for par. Oh, well, you hate to give one back on a putt like that. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And he'll continue his slide. He is at nine over par. Some frustrations taken out there after that last hole. That was a big swing, and it is going to be a big result. Hmm, not sure what happened there. Wrong club selection. Poor execution. Regardless, a lot of meat still on that bone. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Set down fairly quick as well. Good shot. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he's going to stay at nine over par.
That one flirting with the left edge of the fairway. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. Good second shot, that last bounce, a little unlucky, but still that third shot sits up rather nicely into this par five. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. A birdie putt here at the 11th. And he's got this ball on the flat part of the green, and this is about as straightforward as they come. He's just got to get it there. That wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price as this ball gonna run off the fairway and into the bunker. Well, lesson there, I think, is if you find the bunker, you're just asking for trouble, short of the green and a lot of work to do to salvage par. Okay, no further damage, it's a bogey five. And that won't help the cause one bit. Well, that is right and way offline. Be a little disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. Safely back into the fairway. That was the job at hand, and it's a good end result. Now the ball comes up a little bit short of the flag, but normally the rule of thumb for every 10 yards uphill, you have to add on another 10 yards. Oh, the pace perfect on that one. It's in for birdie. Frankie should be pretty good by now. He's been in quite a few bunkers today. It's, I've lost count, Rich, but um, well, I guess every now and again you gotta you gotta give the bunker player a workout. Line may have been a little more sunken in than we had thought, but all in all, not a bad shot out of the bunker. Oh, he 
Sam, where's the turn? That didn't move nearly as much as he anticipated. Safely in, it's a bogey here at 14. And that's gonna drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. Now, it's in the first cut. There's always a little bit more grass around the ball that has to be factored in. Well, just off the fairway, here's Noda. Yeah, he's looking at 101 to the hole. Coming off a bogey on the previous hole, got to get it back here. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Your yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. Well, it's tough to shake off that bogey at the previous hole, especially when you get a shot like that. Well, obviously he can do better, and he's going to have to on this next putt if he wants to just get out of here with bogey, Frank. And this one's certainly going to be uh, well, worth the price of admission. Ah, uh, good putt there. It's a bogey five here at the par four. And that's going to move him all the way down to plus 10. And that ball definitely slowed up a bit. It'll wind up coming down in the heavy rough. Two wayward shots. Now a third to the par three. Oh man, that one had the track shoes on, raced right by the hole. He knew it, we knew it, that was a miss it. Okay, that'll mitigate things a little. It is still a double bogey though here at the par three. And he's gonna fall even further below par. That is going to come to rest squarely in the center of the fairway. Still well over 300 yards to the flag, so getting this to a good number, the key here for his second. Third shot, looking for a good one. Well, had a good lie in the fairway, but couldn't do anything with it. That comes up woefully short. Just didn't figure that out well. It had to land that ball further up the green for it to go closer. That one finished off for Bogey here at 17. And with it, he's going to fall even further down this leaderboard well above par. Well, that 
one's finished in the first cut. It's going to be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. From just off the fairway, down the Noda. 157 to the hole. Hole cut right in the middle. That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Set down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Okay, safely in for his par at 18. And this will be a round of 85. So our featured golfer well back after round one and now likely in a fight just to play the weekend. 